Now to surf the web, we can use Safari, but there's also Google Chrome and other apps that we can use. So right now I'm gonna show you how to download Google Chrome, which is something that everybody uses all the time. So right now we're gonna go right into Safari. Here's Safari down here. Again, if you don't see it, we can use Spotlight Search. So that's on the top right hand corner. That's a Spotlight Search. We can click right there and we can type up Safari. Once that comes up, we can just click on it. And here's Safari, we're gonna just close this up. On the top, you're gonna see your search bar and just type in Google Chrome. Then we're just gonna hit the enter key. We're gonna see this. And here is the first thing. Usually I always tell you guys, don't select the first thing because that's an ad. So it could be anything. It doesn't really have to be something from Google, but hey, it's Google. So they're gonna put their thing first and not some advertisement from another company. So for safety, you should always scroll down and just select the second option. So you will see download and install Google. This is from google.com. That's exactly where you have to go, download anything from Google, such as Google Chrome. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna click on the first option actually. And right here, we're gonna see get more done, Google Chrome, blah, 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 and download Google Chrome for Mac OS X 10.11 or later, which is exactly what your Mac is. So we're gonna go ahead and download right now Chrome. So depending which Mac you guys have, you will download the Intel chip or the Apple chip. Newer Macs, if you guys just bought a Mac, it's gonna have the Apple chip, they mean M1 chip. So if you guys have a Mac that in the description said M1, the newer Macs, then it will be an Apple chip or else it's just gonna be an Intel chip. You can also check that out up here on the top left hand side, you're gonna see your Apple logo. Just click on it about this Mac and you guys will see if it says Intel or maybe it just says Apple. Anyways, once you guys verify which one you guys actually have, just go on and select your second option or your first option. In this case, it is an M1, so we're gonna click right here. We're gonna go, we're gonna see this message. We're gonna go into allow, and it's gonna download. Now, one more thing, since you know this will take some time downloading. Well, actually, it's already done downloading, but to get everything set up correctly, we're gonna go back into system preferences. System preferences, we're gonna open that up. And we're gonna make sure that everything that we download can download without any problems. To do that, we're gonna go right into our privacy. So that's down here below, security and privacy. We're gonna see this icon, click on it. And from here, if you're having any problems downloading any apps or it doesn't really matter what it is, it could be this Google Chrome or installing anything from the internet that's not directly from Apple, then we have to make these changes. So we're gonna go on to click to unlock, so it's in the bottom left hand side, we're gonna click right there, we're gonna unlock this first, we're gonna go ahead, we can use our password or our fingerprint, depending what you guys have, we're gonna unlock this, and from here, what we have to choose is the second option. So App Store and Identify Developers. Do not just have App Store, so make sure you guys have the second option, and if you're having any problems with any anything actually downloading and installing, you will see an additional message down here below where you guys can click on allow. So just keep that in mind. For now, we're just gonna close this up. And since we have successfully downloaded Google Chrome, we can always go in the top right hand corner. We're gonna see this arrow and we're gonna see show downloads. Here's our DMG file. Usually programs for Mac will be .dmg. Not like Windows files that are .exe or any other one. Another way to see this is just going to your downloads. So I'm gonna teach you that too. If you guys open up Finder once again, we can always click on downloads once Finder opens up and we're gonna see our downloads right here. There are several views to look at your files. So I really don't like this first look. I like to see my icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And this is the difference. So we're gonna see an icon instead of a list, which is this option. So I do like things a, bit, a little bit more visual and that's why I do that. But it depends what you guys like. Anyways, here's my DMG file. I'm gonna click on it, double click on it to open it up. It's gonna open up my Google Chrome DMG file. And basically with any app out there to install it, it's just dragging it to the applications folder. So here it is. We're supposed to see this. And right now what it tells us is to drag this thing. So we're gonna click on it we're gonna hold, 
we're gonna drag it on top on top of our applications folder but yes this is our applications folder that's what we're doing right now we're transferring it over there and that's it it's that easy so we can go ahead and close this up so we're gonna tap up here and then we're gonna go back into our applications and from here we're gonna see Google Chrome it's right here so we can double click on it and we're gonna open up Google Chrome from here we should just press on open and we shouldn't have any problems again if you have any problems I showed you guys that in the system preferences where you can change a few things but anyways we're gonna start Google Chrome for now before we start Google Chrome, make sure to read this. Set Google Chrome as your default browser. You may want that, may not want that. For me, not really. Although I like Google Chrome, I don't want it to be my default browser. So anytime I click on a link, I don't want Google Chrome to open. I do like Safari. And we also have this option, which is to make Google Chrome better. Now that I do like. I do like sending off that information about anything that goes wrong to Google. So we're gonna go ahead and start Google Chrome. And here we go. Right now we got a few notifications. To close any notifications, because they might be annoying, you can just tap on the left hand side. So we're gonna see this X, tap on it, tap on it, that's it can close notifications that just came up. Going back into Google Chrome, right here we have it, and we can start up just by getting started. We can sign in with our Google, or on the top, you guys can just type up google.com for example. So to search for anything, we can just go ahead press the return key and we're gonna search for those videos or information about any website here on Google. So that's how you guys can search and use Google Chrome right here on your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.